Hi, I'm Mike Davenport, and I am Louisville Chevy Dude here at Bachman Chevrolet. And before I begin with my video today, please uh, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Facebook and Twitter are uh, down in the description below, those links. So today I'm gonna talk about the tailgates of brand new F-150 and brand new 2014 Silverado. Um, where they do look a little bit the same, they are completely different and completely, uh, one's easier to function than the other. Obviously, I'm a Chevy guy, so what do you think is easier to function? Um, similarities of them, they both are easy lower. Not a problem there, very, very similar. Um, our tailgate's a lot lighter than theirs if you need to take it off, uh, but also if you do need to take it off, ours, we've got two straps. That's it, here and there. They've got two straps as well, but you're also gonna need some tools for theirs, and that's to take this gas shock off. We don't use a gas shock, we use a torsion bar. Um, just the reliability, dependability on that uh, torsion bar is gonna be a lot more uh, better than a gas shock, uh, lifting the tailgate up and down as much as we do. Um, and then the fact of getting in and out of the vehicle. If you are somebody that does get in the vehicle a lot into the back of the pickup truck bed, uh, our system is a lot easier. Simply go up here like this, and that's all you have to do. Very, very simple to do. If you want to uh, get up in the uh, back of their pickup truck, you've got to do a couple things. Now, of course, they got their man step, um, but you have to put up the little sissy handle here so you can get in correctly and not fall. And then down here like so, and then you're getting up. So as a person that gets in the pickup, pickup truck a lot or a business owner that's relying on a team of people to get in the pickup truck, time is money. So how many times do you got to do that per day in order to get up in the truck a lot? Uh, another drawback of having this man step is you can't put, put a wheelbarrow right up next to the pickup truck bed uh, or the tailgate edge. So every day you're doing this. It's five, six, seven seconds, not a big deal. But do, but do it 10 times, 15 times, 20 times a day. That adds up real quick and time is money. Um, another option is, is uh, simply you, again, if you're a business owner and you're relying on a crew to use this or yourself individually, and you just don't wanna use the, the, the man step and the sissy heart handbar, you're jumping out of it. So which is gonna rely, uh, come back to maybe have an accident, sprain an ankle, twist an ankle, break a bone, so on and so forth. Obviously as a business owner, you do not want that to happen. Um, but as an individual too, on a job site or on your own personal property, you don't want that to happen as well. So again, getting up in this step is very, very simple. The, the handrail here is good enough uh, to wear your gloves on, so you don't need to take your gloves on and you're simply getting up. Now, I'm 215 pounds, I'm six foot three. Um, I don't have any issues using either one of these steps. However, um, the weight restriction, there's a weight restriction on this one, and there is not a weight restriction on this one. The reason why is we're using the bumper, so you gotta have to be a pretty big dude in order to become a weight restriction for our bumper in our frame. 350 pounds to this, so um, again, still a weight restriction. Over time, you get, you get sand, gravel, any type of material in here. Uh, to get in, unlocking it. Um, there is grease on some of these areas to get them in, so on and so forth. And if you need to take the tailgate off, this one is gonna be a lot more heavier than this one. A um, Couple other things I like to always point out when I'm comparing two vehicles is we have a 100,000 mile five year powertrain warranty. All the maintenance is taken care of for two years, 24 miles. You have three or 36 bumper to bumper. You have uh, courtesy transportation, which in the event of the vehicle being in for service, uh, you will have a vehicle to drive uh, or a shuttle back and forth to work. Us as a dealership here locally, we have about 30 vehicles for you to drive for really any reason at all. So we're not, we don't really restrict the why you can and can't use one. We're here to take care of you. Um, warranty over here is 40,000 miles less than ours. No maintenance, no courtesy transportation, no roadside assistance, which we have 100,000 mile roadside assistance over here. JD Power ranking. 27th, number five. Uh, we're beat by a couple luxury people and uh, in, our, in our GMC brand, which is the same. So um, pretty good reliability, dependability over here. We have standard, uh, pretty much pretty standard 5.3 liter V8. They're using their EcoBoost boost engine, which you can Google about that, totally different video of why that's not a reliable engine and the problems that they're having, as well as you've got to use premium fuel in this truck. Um, owner's manual states it. 87 octane in this truck. So, uh, plus we get better fuel economy in this V8 and 11,500 pounds of towing compared to their less fuel economy using a V6 premium fuel and not as much towing capacity. So, hope the video was informative. 
If there's anything I can do for you, please uh, put comments down below. If you'd like to make a comment, please do so. I look forward to them and I love to answer them. And uh, if you're in Louisville and need a truck, need any type of car, new or used, uh, please don't forget to uh, look up the Louisville Chevy Dude. I'd be more than happy to help you. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.